You want to turn this into this? Oh, I got your copy. First, we need the template. So we got to go over to the Roblox homepage. Then click on the Create tab. And here you can find some of my deepest, darkest secrets. Then go to Creations tab. And go to Avatar Items, Classics. Change the Classic Type to Classic Shirts. And here you can see some more. Then click on Upload Asset. Click on Learn More. And here you'll be taken to this neat little page that'll tell you all about classic clothing. Scroll on down, and here you have the shirt and pants template. You want to click on the shirt, torso, and arms link right here, and it'll download a .zip file. Now you're going to want to unzip this file by going to your Files, Downloads, right-click on the file, and extract the file. And once you do that, you'll have this folder with both a pants template and a shirts template. Now go over to Google and search PIXLR. Once you do that, you can go over to Pixlr.com, and on the bottom left it says Pixlr Editor. You want to use that one? Then click on Open Image, and find the template that you just saved. And just like that, we got ourselves a template. Now, if you do end up using a different template, just keep in mind that the size has to be 585 by 559 pixels. It's very important, otherwise it won't upload onto Roblox. And now we need to make this template transparent. In order to do that, we need to go over to the Select tool in the toolbar, and then we need to select each and every one of these rectangles or faces and just press delete or backspace. Both of them clears it and just do that for every single one of these faces. And just like that, you got yourself a transparent template. The next step is to create a new and empty layer, drag that layer underneath the background. Then you want to go over to the fill tool. Change your color to whatever color you want this shirt to be. I'm going to go with a nice little pink color. Just like that. And now you can go ahead and go to the Arrange tool. And make sure you have the colored layer selected. And just drag that up to create yourself some sleeves on the shirt. I'm going to do a short sleeve. But we're going to add a neck hole to the head. To do that, you want to go over to your Select tool once again. And then change it from a Rectangle Select to a Ellipse Select. And just on this upper torso area, you want to just create a circle between both of these faces. Then you can move it around while having the select tool selected. And once you position it however you want, you can then press delete or backspace onto the colored layer. And just like that, you got yourself a neck hole. Now it looks good on its own. However, we're going to add a little bit more detail by adding maybe an outline. To do that, you want to go over to the Shapes tool, Draw, make sure your fill is off, change it to a circle shape, and make your outline maybe a little bit smaller to around 3. And now change your color from whatever color your shirt was to maybe a bit of a lighter version of whatever your color was, or a darker version. Create this circle here, and it seems I forgot one thing. Before you do that, Create a new layer and then create your circle just over top of this, just like that. And there you can now actually adjust where the circle goes. Just like that, you got yourself a bit of an outline around that neck hole. Now, of course, you might want to do the same thing with the sleeves. And to do that, you want to go over to your shape tool once again, draw, change it to a line tool. You can do this on the same layer as your uh, circle and you can just go from one side all the way to the other. Try to straighten it as much as you can. And just like that, you got yourself a bit of a line there. And it just adds a little bit more detail, makes it look a little bit cleaner. And this could be a shirt as is if you want it to be a flat shirt. However, we're going to add a little bit of shading. Now, I don't know how to make shading on my own through Pixlr. I tried and it didn't work, but maybe there's a way. I'm just going to go over to Google and I'm just going to search Roblox shading template. And once you do that, you can go over to images. And although some of these images might be transparent, if you want it so all these images are transparent, you can go to Tools, Color, and Transparent. And now every single one of these images you see are transparent. And now you can take a look around and see which shading template you want to use. However, I think I'm just going to go with this one right here. So to use it, you can just copy this template. Then you can go back to Pixlr and then on a brand new layer, or actually when you paste in, 
anything from Google, it will paste it in on a brand new layer on its own. And just like that, you got yourself a shading layer over top of this template. So now you do have some shading over here. Now, if you have a short sleeve shirt, it might be a bit of an issue just like me, or if you have a little bit of uh, shading around this area as well, you wanna get rid of that. To get rid of this, the easiest way is by going back to your select tool, changing it back from circle to rectangle, and then just dragging from one of the corners all the way down to the other corner and just selecting all the transparent parts of the arms and you can just click on delete. And just like that, you got rid of all the shading on the arms. Now, of course, there will be a bit of shading on the actual neck hole here as well. So to get rid of that, you can go over to your rectangle select tool again and change it to ellipse. Just create a bit of a circle here and adjust where it goes. And then you can press delete or backspace once again. Make sure you have the shading layer selected. Now you could just save this as is and upload it onto Roblox. However, I'm going to add my logo onto this just to add something, something else to the shirt, you know? And just like that, I have my logo added onto the shirt. We're just gonna move it around and now for one thing, if you add an image that has a background and it's not transparent, just like this one, an easy way to remove it if it's a solid color, it will be a bit more difficult if it's not a solid color, but you can use the wand select tool, change your tolerance to around maybe 50 or 60, and then select this color and it will select the background just like that. And then you can just click on delete or backspace and you got yourself a clear background. And then you can lower the size of this make it smaller and you can place it wherever you like of course if you lower the size of any image it will lower in pixels it will lower in quality because there's only so many pixels in a roblox shirt and you can move this image below the shading so that way some of the shading goes over it makes it feel a little bit more realistic and there you have it you got yourself a shirt so to save the shirt, you wanna go over to the top left where it says file and then save. Make sure it's a PNG and transparent is enabled. Now click on save as and name your shirt, whatever you'd like. I'm going to name it Boxian's pink shirt and click save. Now keep in mind that you only get three daily saves per day on a free account on Pixlr. So now we can upload this shirt onto Roblox. If you had this page saved, you can just go back to it and you can click upload and find your shirt that you had saved and there you can see the template right there. You can just name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to keep the name as a type shirt. Make sure it's a shirt because some people will save it under t-shirt and it'll just save it as an image. But it costs 10 Robux to do it and it'll automatically be in your inventory for you to use. And you can also sell it by going back to the create tab and then adjusting its price. And this is how it looks in game. It looks pretty good. I'm sure you can imagine how it would look on a blocky avatar. <laughs> That's right. You dare make fun of my shirt? You buffoon. Oh, hello there. If this video helps you out, drop a like and subscribe as it would be very much appreciated. However, don't expect many or any more tutorials as I'm not a tutorial guy, okay? But stay tuned for some good content coming your way. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will try my best to answer as soon as possible. Anyways, make sure you have a wonderful day, and see you next time. Now you better take back what you said. You buffoon.